Hi everyone, today I'm going to take a request that I received in my comments. I'm going to show you how I'll draw a section that's cutting through this plan horizontally. First, I need to create some context for my plan because this looks like a floating apartment and that's not realistic. In reality, there's an apartment on each side. So for the sake of the exercise, I'm just going to mirror my plan once to the right and another time to the left. I'll align my outer walls and I'll freeze the def points layer that came from the base plan xref and for now I'll freeze the room tags as well now I'll offset this frame by 500 inwards and I'm going to crop those two xrefs so I'll select my first one type in xc new boundary select polyline and I'll select this frame now I'll select it right click draw order send to back and I'll do the same again here xc new boundary select polyline and I'll select this frame and finally I'll go to express tools and add my break lines so I'll add one here and another one here now I'll select those two xrefs again right click draw order send to back and I'll remove this frame now I'm going to draw a construction line that's cutting through my plan and I'll place it here. So this is where I'm slicing through the apartment. I'll draw construction lines that go along the break lines. And again, XL going along the external walls of the apartment. Now I'll add a horizontal construction line and this will represent my floor finish level. And I'll offset that by the value of my clear height, which is 3000 mil. Now I'll offset those two lines by 500 each. The top one is offset towards the top and the bottom one towards the bottom. Now I'll draw a rectangle to frame the extent of where my section would go and I'll offset that by 500. I'll select the outer rectangle and I'll place it on def point. So this is going to be my view frame. And I'll remove the one that I drew manually. Now I'll go to Express Tools and I'll add break lines that go along the outer construction lines horizontally and vertically. Now I can remove my outer construction lines. Now I'm going to offset those two lines by 300, which is my floor thickness. The bottom line offset towards the bottom and the top line offset towards the top. And I'll create a new layer called Floor slab color green line weight 0 0.18 i'll go to my new layer floor slab and i'll start drawing my floor slab so this is going along the ceiling there's a beam here that's dropping by 30 centimeters and it's hidden within the wall and then until i hit my break line i'll move up by 20 centimeters so 200 mil and this is going along the entire section and i'll move down to hit my ceiling and then now i hit my wall i'll move down by 30 30 centimeters and close it off. Now I have an entire polyline showing my floor slab. I'll copy that and I'll move it to the bottom slab. So this is meant to be the ceiling of the apartment that's below. And this is hitting my break line, so I need to trim the beams. So I'll select the break line, type in PR and trim here and here. Now I need my walls layer, which I don't have here, so I'll quickly seal it from my base plan xref, copy, paste, and I'll move to that layer, and I'll start adding my walls that go from the bottom of the beam until they hit the top of my slab on those two walls, and they should do the same in the floor above as well as the floor below, but here the cut line is not reaching the wall, so we're fine here. Now I can remove those construction lines and this line right here. Now I'm going to project the internal walls. To do that, I'm going to go along the construction line that I added here, and whenever it hits a wall, I'm going to project it. So this is the outer wall that we just projected. So if I draw a construction line here, you'll see that it's aligned with the wall that we just drew. I'll do the same thing with every single wall I meet. So if I go along, this is just furniture, and now I have my first wall. I'll add in a construction line here and another one here. If I keep going along the line, there's another wall that I hit here. So I'll add a construction line here and here. And then if I go along, this is furniture, cutting through furniture. And this is the last wall that it should cut through, which we already drew in the section. So now I'm going to add my wall lines of the internal 12 centimeter brick walls. 
and I can remove those construction lines. And now the only remaining thing is to add the floor layers that are between my concrete slab and my floor finish level. So let's see the areas that I'm cutting through. So this is the master bedroom, this is the secondary bedroom, and this is the reception. And in this case, they all have HDF flooring. First, I'm going to add a new layer and I'll call it floor layers. Salmon color for it, 0.05. I'll go to my new layer and I'll draw one line that's extending between the outer wall and the first internal wall and I'll move that up by six centimeters so this is the sand layer and then I'll offset that line by two centimeters which is the mortar layer and then I'll offset that by one centimeter for the under HDF tiling and another centimeter for the HDF. Now I can remove those construction lines so you have a clearer view. I'll just select the internal line of this outer wall and I'll hit EX on my keyboard and I'll extend those lines to that wall. Now I'll select my internal walls and I'm going to trim those floor layers because they don't go through the brick walls. It's starting to shape up a bit. Now I'll add a new layer and I'll call it hatches because I'm going to start hatching my walls and floors. Blue color 0.09. Now I'll go to my new layer and I'll type in H on my keyboard and the space bar and I'll select this hatch with the diagonal equally spaced lines to hatch my concrete slab. It looks like a solid hatch because the scale is too small but when you zoom in you'll see that the lines are there so I'm just going to adjust that scale and make it 500 instead so this is much clearer and I'll do the same for the bottom slab as well. Now I'll add another hatch for my brick walls which is this hatch right here diagonal double lines so I'll select that I'll adjust the scale before I start 500 this wall And for my last hatch, I'm going to add sand to my floor layers. So I'll use this hatch called AR sand. Maybe I can make this 20 so it's closer together. And again here and again here. So now I have all the parts that are cut through in my section. I'm going to be looking towards the windows, so I need to draw an elevation of everything that I see. Before I do that, I'm going to create three new layers to show the different levels of closeness in the elevation. So for example, this wall is going to appear closer than this one, and this one is appearing closer than this one. So I'll go to layer properties. I'll create a layer called elevation back, another one elevation middle, and last one elevation front. And different thicknesses. So the one at the back should have the thinnest line weight, and the middle one would have a slightly thicker line weight, and the front elevation would have the thickest line weight. Now I'm going to protect my windows, so I'll go back to layer zero, add those construction lines. So I'll select elevation back and I'll start drawing my window. 2.4 meters high. The bedroom windows are different, they're not door windows like this one. So I'll draw construction line offset 120, and the windows are 120 centimeters high. So for this one, I'll pick my elevation middle layer and I'll start drawing it. For this window, I'll just copy it because it's identical and I'll move it to elevation front. I'll remove those construction lines. So I'll add a new layer called section layers. For the details that are cut through but don't need to be as thick as the walls and floors, purple. 0 0.13 is a good thickness. First, I'll go to the right layer and I'll start drawing my skirting detail. This is where my wall meets my floor. So my skirting is 10 centimeters high and 2 centimeters thick. I'll select that and move it here. I'll copy that. And here I'll mirror it and add it to the opposite wall. And where my ceiling meets my walls, I'm going to add a cornice detail. Copy.
And now I'll reflect what I see in elevations. So for this space right here, I'll select my correct layer, which is elevation back. And there we have the section. Of course, you can add as many details as you want. You can add sections showing your furniture, maybe your curtains, maybe you have a drop ceiling, maybe you have power outlets. I would definitely show where my power outlets are. Let me know what you think and thank you for watching.